see if I can get this done before it gets too hot out here. Alright. On with the show. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. This one is, let's see here, it was uh, April, so it's uh, May book haul? No, April into May. Backward! Uh, okay, so we're at, uh, we're in May now because Cinco de Mayo just passed and we were in April, so this is April's book haul. Uh, I got a lot of stuff for free. <laughs> I only have uh, I think two purchases out of two, four, six, eight, out of eight. So all the rest of them are either for review or sent to me as gifts from friends. So that's what we're, I'm going to get the ones that I paid for out of the way first. Uh, I finally got the second book in the Quantum Leap series. So this one is Quantum Leap, Too Close for Comfort by Ashley McConnell. Ooh, cover up the face. An all-new adventure, first time in print. So this is, I'm going to be reading this one this month. I can get through, I can get through these jokers. I mean, this is only 265 pages, and it's like one of the old Dean Koontz books. It also, <sighs> hashtag book sniffer. Book sniffer. Hashtag book sniffer. Y'all, I am so out of the game and ain't even funny. I ain't made a video since last, what, Wednesday or Thursday? I am completely out of the game. But yeah, that's a, this is a good one. Um... Uh, I'm looking forward to this. I really enjoyed the first one, and I'm hoping that it picks up. This one is very interesting. Uh, when I'm going to read you the synopsis. When Dr. Sam Beckett leaps into the middle of a men's encounter group circa 1990, he meets Al. Not the holographic Al from the near future, but a younger soul-searching Al, beating his naked chest in mock tribal quest for his primitive nature. It all seems pretty funny to Sam, except for the fact that his mission could make or break the Quantum Leap Project for all time. All is in all, all, all caps. That's why we went all in like we did. Now, I'm trying to shake off some of this, you know, no video funk. I'm trying. I'm bobbing and weaving. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't happening. All right, so next up we have uh, this one. I completely forgot I pre-ordered it. Uh, the the cover I, I think uh, I I, buy, I read a lot of Japanese fiction, uh, whether it be crime fiction or literary fiction, and this was something that was recommended and I liked the cover and I put it in my I, I guess I one click pre ordered it I'm not exactly sure what happened but this is a uh, star by Yukio Mishima I think that's how you spell it Yukio 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 probably <laughs> Yukio uh, Mishima this one sounds interesting, though, so um, it's translated by Sam Bett, with two T's. All eyes are on Rikio. So Yukio, Rikio. Eh. And he likes it. So all eyes are on Rikio, and he likes it, mostly. His fans cheer, screaming and yelling to attract his attention. They would kill for a moment alone with him. Finally, the director sets up the shot. The camera begins to roll. Someone yells, action! Rikio, for a moment, transforms himself into another being, a hardened young Yakuza. But as soon as the shot is finished, he slumps back into his own anxieties and obsessions. Being a star, constantly performing, being watched and scrutinized as if under a microscope, is often a drag. But so is life. Written shortly after Yukio Mishima himself had acted in the film Afraid to Die. That was very weirdly worded. It's probably gram grammatically correct, but it's very weirdly worded. Written shortly after Yukio Mishima himself had acted in the film Afraid to Die, this novella is a rich and unflinching portrait of a celebrity coming apart at the seams. I love stories like that. With exquisite, vivid prose, Star begs the question, is there any escape from how we are seen by others? Yes, you just don't care. Anywho, but that's, yeah. That's a, look at that cover, though. That cover's sexy. God, no. All right, next up, we have the last one that I bought for myself. So there was a total of three. Uh, I'm good friends with the author. His name is Glenn Krish. Is that how you say it, Glenn? I'm sorry. But, but uh, this is now available. You can buy it uh, signed from... Uh, <laughs> you can buy it signed. Sorry, I just, I just saw the, uh, the, uh, the, the signature and everything. Um... 
but you can buy it from Glenn himself. Uh, Glenn, if you please feel free to promote the book down there in the doobly-doo if you want to. Um, I will pin your comment. It'll make it easier because I'm not sure where all you're selling these or if you're still doing signed copies or not. Um, but uh, he writes in here, Hey E, I love your work and professionalism. You rock. Hope you enjoy Echoes. Glenn Krish. So, again, look, look at this cover. It's got to be a Ke it's got to be a Keelan Patrick Burke cover. I would guess. It might not be, but it sure as hell looks like one. But that look at that. That is gorgeous. I I had I had to have it. He's got another one uh Little Whispers uh that I suggest picking up also. I only had um enough in the book budget this month to grab this one because I spent $250 at Cemetery Dance. Y'all don't 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 ask. Y'all don't ask. Okay. So next, we're going to get into the, uh, for reviews. Should I do that? Yeah, and then I'll finish off with the, with the GIF. Uh, this is The Wild Boy by Paolo Cognetti, I guess. That's how you pronounce it. But, uh, Atria sent me this one. Uh, Washington Square Press is a subsidiary of them. Uh, one of their sister companies, I would guess. Uh, this is super short. I'll probably be getting to it. Uh, when does it come out? Let's see here. Oh, it comes out in July, right? July is the seventh month. Yeah, July. It comes out in July. So I'll, I'll definitely be getting to this pretty soon. I have another one about, uh, like, real magic in the government that they sent me. American magic or something like that. I'm not too thrilled about. Uh, so I, I'll get to it eventually. I'm not sure, but it doesn't come out until August. So I'm definitely going to get to this one first. Next up is one that I am... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to do something else first. I'm going to talk about the ones that I'm excited about last. So this one, uh, Atria also sent me Frederick Bachman's uh, Things My Son Needs to Know About the World, which should be interesting. I like uh, Bachman's, uh, when, he, when he goes into omniscient, when he goes in the kind of like the author intrusion, he's one, of the, he's one of the only authors other than Stephen King that I tend to like the author intrusion. There was way too much of it in... Uh, in Us, Ver Us Against Them, the sequel to Bear Town. There was way too much in that one, um, but I did like it overall in the first one. I just feel like it was way, there was way too much like foreshadowing and author thought uh, put into that. I know that sounds weird. It's the author's book, you know, but it, over and over again he would say, this isn't that kind of story. This is that kind of story. And that just kind of took me out of the place. So I'm, I'm very interested to read something of his that is not fiction. Um, and it's super, super short. I mean, this is, this is, uh, 190 pages. So I'll probably get to this one. It's going to be probably a month of really short reads. Anybody else expect Frederick Bachman to be like 90 years old? I did not expect this man's right here. Whose man's is this? You see him? Ooh. But he looks like a young dude. Actually, he looks like a country and western singer. I say country and western. Man, I can't remember the last time someone called country music country and western. Probably my father. And he's been dead since 2001. Yay! Long story. <laughs> Long story. Next up, uh, an author contacted me, and I don't normally do this, so don't get excited. Any author out there who, who's all of a sudden, oh my god, he's taking review requests. This, uh, this author was extremely nice, extremely professional. Um, he's got a terrific cover, terrific blurb, terrific... Uh, uh, the, the title to the book, and the author's name is Brendan Detzner, and this is his book, White Rabbit Society. Now, not only that, but look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm not going to be able to do it credit. It looks amazing. It is long as hell, though, Brian. I had no idea that you wrote a 500-page book. Um, I will be getting to it either May or next month. I didn't realize it was so long, and I got a couple other long books to get through first. Um, I know you sent it for review, and I appreciate you, but please, please, just give me a little bit to get through it, because with a new author and a chunk of book like this, I really like to take my time. So I'll probably end up reading it over the next couple of weeks, um, but I'm not starting, I'm probably not going to be starting for at least another two weeks. So please be patient with me. I'm going to sit this over here because that joker is heavy and it's going back in with me. Okay, so uh, next up, I am actually, I keep doing this. I keep doing this. Uh, my friend Terry, if you watched the mail time from Terry, sent me, If We Were Villains. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, this one I am looking forward to jumping into as soon as possible 
but it probably won't be before July. Um, I really want to get into this, and I even have some buddy reads to do with Terry. Um, we got to do Golden State, Garden State. What's it called, Terry? What's it called? Anyway, <laughs> anyways, we got to do that one. Um, I got a Dean Koontz reread to do. Uh, you guys are getting a Dean Koontz uh, retro review tomorrow. I've um, got a bunch of stuff coming on. Thursday Theorist comes back this week. Big stuff. But I, I am actually procrastinating for no no reason whatsoever. I just I'm having fun with this video. I kind of don't want it to end. Um, I don't know. It's 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 nice to just sit down and talk to you guys. I didn't get to talk to you guys during the stream last week because I was not here, was not even in my state. Um, but that's a long story that I probably won't even go into because it upsets some people um, when I talk about my pin names because I can't tell them what the pin name is, so it ruffles their feathers. They're like, oh, no, George, no, I can't. I understand. I do. But I also have to let you guys know I'm not going to be here. And there's people out there to go, hey, man, what are you doing? And I don't want to lie to you. You know, it's, 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 it's some, it's, what is it, six of one, half a dozen of the other. It's like either upset you by telling you exactly what I'm doing or lie to you. And I just prefer to tell you I had shit to do. Okay. This was sent to me <laughs> for review. I am super, super stoked about this book. Uh, Kathleen Kaufman wrote one of my favorite books from last year, which was Hag. Um, is easily in my top ten books of last year. Um, and this one, this one, this one sounds amazing. Um, the story of cults, exorcisms, and the devil in Los Angeles. Devil. Really? Huh. So this, this, dia, dia, actually he's just pronounced devil. Uh, devil follows, oh, I'm going to screw this up. Sit, C-E-I-T, Sit Robertson as she explores the true nature of evil and wickedness. In her world of cults, exorcisms, and unspeakable horrors, she discovers that perhaps the devil is not what we should truly fear. Siet Robertson, age 10, is the next matriarch, matriarch uh, to the society, a cultist, cultish matri matriarchal group living in an inconspicuous cul-de-sac in Venice Beach. When Siet's mother is attacked by spirits from the old world, a failed exorcism results in Siet's exile into the foster care system in Los Angeles. She eventually lands in the infamous McLaren Hall, a very real and historically auspicious center for disturbed and abandoned children in El Monte, El Monte, California. Devil is the sympathetic story of the devil in Los Angeles. The exploration of the true nature of evil and how intention colors what our definition of wickedness truly is. Siet grows into a force of nature as she contains the potential and mythology of the darkest degree, but discovers that perhaps the devil is not what we should truly fear. Okay, that's a repeat of what's up there. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this one. I'm not a huge fan of exorcism stories, but I don't think this is a full exorcism story. I'm more interested in the cults and like the, the personification of the devil in Los Angeles kind of deal. Um, even if it's not that, I'm, I'm really not going into this with any expectations whatsoever. I went into Hag with, all, with no expectations. I had no idea what it was about. I just liked the cover. I liked the, um, I liked the, uh, the idea... The, just the idea that there might have been a witch in it. Um, I dig witch fiction, but I don't like uh, soft witch fiction. I like, you know, some really gnarly shit. If we're going to do witches, we're going to do curses and death and brutality and all that shit. Um, and Hag, while it did not have all that brutality, uh, it did have some of the best writing I have come across in a while. So, uh, yeah, this one, I'm not exactly sure what... Ah, here we go. It comes out... It comes out two days before Halloween, October 29th, 2019. Page count is 320 pages, and the price of the paperback is going to be $16.99. I hope you enjoyed going through my books this time. I did a more of a relaxed feel, uh, just kind of, you know, winged it. Uh, if it was entertaining or not, I have no idea. I know there's some folks out there who just like listening to me talk, uh, which is a very odd concept. They'll put me on in the background. Um, I've been hearing this a lot recently. Um, they'll put me on in the background and go and do other things. Sarah, um, I know you do that. Um, I had no idea that other people did that. Um, yeah, it, it's just it's weird to me to, to get that kind of input, uh, that someone would just want to sit and listen to me talk, and that someone be someone other than my wife. <laughs> So, and if she if she doesn't actually like listen to me talk, she 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 pretends very very well. Anyways, so that was my April 
did we figure that out at the beginning? It was April, right? My April book haul. Um, if you have your own book haul, please uh, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. If you have a video, please post it, link to it, all that stuff. Um, if, if it doesn't show up right away in the comment section, please just give me um, some time to find it in the spam folder or maybe comment again saying, hey, check your spam. Um, I don't mind you posting links to either your other videos or doing any kind of self-promotion on these videos. I don't really mind it at all. People can choose whether or not they want to click on you or not. Um, but, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys got this month um, because book hauls are my fa probably my favorite content. Next to Good Mythical Morning, it's my favorite content on YouTube is watching the new stuff that people got. I know that's kind of like capitalism porn, but... I, I still like seeing people that I, you know, friends of mine getting stuff that they enjoy or, you know, ha having that outlet of retail therapy. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book haul. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!